What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at level 80 to level 99 of the new Pirate King Adventures against CP0. But before we actually get into that, one little minute thing that you guys should probably know about is in the notice board, it does mention something very important. In the red text at the bottom there, it says that Luchi, Kaku, and Stussy will change their type after Super Evolution, considering the character type changing the defeat rewards is going to be doubled for the event. So what this means is that, you know, when Treasure Map rolls around in the upcoming month of April, Luchi, Kaku, and Stussy will super evolve to a different color, likely the int typing, we don't know yet, but likely going to be int, and that's going to be important, so you probably want to have, you know, two different copies of this unit maxed out, they give you enough copies to max out multiple copies of this unit, so you can have one as the quick version, and then one super evolved 5 star plus into whatever other color that it is, because sometimes having this character, or having these free to play units with the different typings, like what they did a couple months ago with that quick white bid super evolving into strength, having these different units is actually kind of important so make sure that you take this into consideration when you pick up your rewards so make sure to level up two copies of this unit as it may be important in the near future so without further ado let's go ahead now and jump into this brand new content level 80 to level 99 of the latest pirate king adventures game mode Alright, so jumping into the first team that I have for you guys in the video, we're going to be using Lilith as our captain. You know, you don't get too many opportunities to actually use Lilith in content. And the fact that, that uh, the V3 Rayleigh with his Super Evolution and also the new free-to-play Kobe, these two characters are really good in this content, both being cerebral, synergize well with the two new legends who are also cerebral focused. You know, Lilith is also a boosted unit in this content, so I thought, you know, let's go ahead and build a mono cerebral team, and we're able to get the job done, which is awesome. There's, there's actually quite a few additional gimmicks, jumping from level 60 plus to level 80 plus, so you see on this uh, piece of content, there's going to be more turns of bind and despair. Uh, and then obviously Kobe deals with the reverse and the bind and despair. He gives us a chain boost as well. So just with Kobe special alone, that is enough damage to get through, even without any nat like matching slots at all. So that's dope. We don't even have to worry about it. We're moving to the next stage. There's a lot of additional gimmicks here. The paralysis jumps from two turns to three turns, so we have to somehow deal with that. There's also an additional turn of special reversal, one turn of special reverse with the three turns of paralysis, which is annoying to deal with. But also, your friend captain is going to be stunned for one turn. So the only way to get around that is if you have some type of effect that can reduce your crew's health, whether that be from a support or from a special ability that can reduce HP. The new rare recruit Caesar and Monet does have an ability to remove paralysis, also do a health cut. You do see with this team though that we actually just tank the damage. And in this point in time at level 80 to 99, we actually can tank the hit. We will have enough HP to tank the hit from Luchi, the mob character, and then also tank the enemy preemptive attacks after that turn has passed. So pretty lucky, but it actually can be done. Uh, if worse comes to worse, we could probably change the team around a little bit in terms of the ship choice, but either way, it does get it done. And then when you move to the final stage, there's going to be five turns of resilience, five turns of special bind that you have to deal with as well, and then the burn is going to be buffed up to four turns. The chopper's really good here because chopper does remove four turns of burn, the special bind as well. Uh, the resilience is kind of annoying to deal with, but with Lilith, we don't have to worry about it because Lilith's special ability will last for three turns, that end of turn damage that we can uh, carry into the final room, and that, that gives us actually a pretty solid amount of damage. And then also with the Lilith special abilities on the final stage, we can use the super type to get an attack boost, the secondary Lilith can transform it to become a double stacking attack boost and then use a secondary super type to get like two different attack boosts at the same time. Lilith also providing an orb boost. We have the Shank special to remove the enemy's resilience buff. Um, you know, you don't specifically have to do that, but we also get chain boundary from Shanks as well. Uh, but one of the things you have to be very, very cautious of is that if you use like V3 Rayleigh to grow through the barrier, that end of turn damage doesn't actually go through the barrier. Um, you know, if you use Rayleigh's effect to hit perfects, it doesn't actually break the enemy's barrier. And that was one strategy I was trying to develop beforehand. It didn't work because hitting perfects when you're under that Rayleigh effect doesn't break that barrier, which is a bit of a shame. But nonetheless, this really cool cerebral team was able to get the job done.
And then we go ahead and have a look at our next team, which is going to be utilizing the Doflamingo and Sugar Friend Captain. There are not a lot of Sugar and Dofi friends out and about, but if you find one, this is a really solid uh, strategy that you can try and employ. So with this specific team, the way that we get around it is, is we have Kobe, of course, for stage three, single-handedly deals with that stage. And then on the stage four, we get inflicted with that stun debuff, which is really unfortunate. So we can have the white beard to cut our crew's health. And he also provides chain boundary, which is really good. Another thing that's important for this team is the legend Nami support attached to Jinbei. So that not only just removing paralysis, that doesn't really matter with this team, but the minus one cooldown is very important. So we can kind of deal with the special reverse on stage four. And then Rayleigh special gives us the full board of slots, the attack and all boost, bypass defensive effects for cerebral, fighter and uh, I think it's just for cerebral and fighter characters specifically but the attack boost is for cerebral fighters and slashes so the whole team gets the attack buff but only some of the characters on the team bypass the defensive effects and then when we reach the last stage we're going to be abusing the new special of sugar and doflamingo which does have overkill mechanics it's not as good overkill as the dex doflamingo but the fact that this character is boosted it just kind of works right we do use the law special on the final stage one thing that i would advise though if you are opting to use a team such as this like using law to bypass the defensive effects to allow the dofi and sugar special to just one shot the whole stage is to actually use the super switch of law uh, the super switch of, of dofi and sugar first then use law special then use the overkill special from dofi the reason for that is is because the super swap of dofi and sugar does inflict the enemy with increased damage taken and whilst law special does also do that law's increased damage taken is not as good as what the super switch effect of dofi is so ideally you super switch first then law special then dofi special it gives you a pretty good amount of damage uh and of course if you go deeper into this content i'm pretty sure this will kill no matter what even up until level 99 but of course once we get to level 100 and above Things are definitely going to have to change because the gimmicks get a lot more difficult to deal with. But still a very fun team to use in this content. Very, very easy to build for and gets the job done. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.